Supporters of GOP presidential hopeful Ron Paul have formed a super PAC to tap into that sentiment. Take a listen to a portion of their new ad. As our forefathers before us pledge their lives and fortunes, so shall we. Bring the troops home. We're into the fourth year now of this recession. We can get out of this trouble by sending only people to Washington who will obey the Constitution. Who will follow the Constitution. Here to discuss our radio host Mike Church and economic historian Tom Woods. I understand that this is a promo for the, ad, for the super PAC for ads that will come. That's right. RevolutionPAC.com is where we're premiering some really kick you-know-what ads for Ron. Thank you guys very much. So now what we're going to do is uh, world premiere the new uh, Ron Paul television ad that Revolution Pack has made. And I want to introduce this. I just want to get you uh, situated here. Bear in mind that 60 seconds go by so fast you can't believe it. And it's very hard to write a 60 second ad script. It's, it, it's always too long. You have to keep cutting and keep cutting. And every line you cut is like your heart is being ripped out. I can't do without this line, but yet you have to. So we made this ad, and what we want to do is differentiate Ron Paul, right? That's the first principle of marketing. Differentiate your product. So we are not saying Ron Paul is a great budget balancer and he's 12% better than the other Republicans. No. He is entirely a class apart. That's what we're emphasizing. First, the emptiness of the opposition. And secondly, the fact that he doesn't talk to us in slogans and that he was against the bailouts. Remember, the Tea Party voted Bob Bennett out of the U.S. Senate in Utah because he supported TARP. Why not point out that Romney and Perry also supported TARP? Why are we keeping this a secret? Because I want you to hear every word of this thing. Because I do believe this is the first political ad in U.S. history that refers to other candidates as shills for the bankers, and it would be a shame for you not to hear that. Okay, let's go. If you believe the media, here's our choice for president. This pretty boy or that pretty boy. Mitt Romney, who was praised by Barack Obama for his Massachusetts health care program. Or Rick Perry, who applauded Hillary's health care plan and forced young girls in Texas to be injected with an STD vaccine. Wait a minute, can't we do better? How about a man who gives us the truth, not a bunch of rehearsed answers, who saw the housing collapse coming when other candidates were oblivious, and whose devotion to freedom and the Constitution no other candidate can even touch? They supported the bailouts. Ron Paul said no. And only Ron Paul listens to our founding fathers who warned that constant war means debt, taxes, and the destruction of a republic. Everything Ron Paul has predicted is coming true. We need the teacher, not the student. A man of integrity, not a shill for the bankers. A statesman, not a plastic man. For jobs, for prosperity, for freedom. Ron Paul for president. The Revolution Pack is responsible for this communication. All right, then, now listen, we want, we want to hear Jordan Page. All right, now listen, we want to hear Jordan Page, but i got to make an appeal to you guys. Now, if you, do you want to see that ad on TV in early primary states? Then you've got to help us. It's going to come out on YouTube on Monday. You've got to donate at revolutionpack.com. It will happen if you guys let it happen. We'll run this thing and we'll run a lot more just like it if you guys help us. And spread the word. If you guys know a millionaire, you send this ad to him. We need that million bucks. All right, thank you. Thank you very much.